time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to get that hit that subscribe button and it's right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter, so follow me on Twitter too. And it's time to get this series review started. Alright, y'all. I watched Apple TV Plus's The Mosquito Coast starring Justin Thoreau. Is that how you see his name? The good looking little eye candy Justin Thoreau. And, you know, I got some stuff to say. First, let me tell you what the, what the series is. So the Mosquito Coast is based off the best selling novel by Paul Thoreau. This film tells the story of one man's attempt to create a utopian existence in the rainforest for his family which ultimately in, evolves into a desperate fight for survival. Now, like I said, this has the Justin Thoreau in it, the eye candy Justin Thoreau, married to, to Jennifer Aniston, if y'all know, and I've seen him in other stuff, and he's a terrific actor. Now, I can't say this one, he, he does a great job. You know, with the lines given in his story, he gives that mystery, that, you know, that aloofness sometimes, that you know, too smart for his own good. But this is the problem. I just thought the story dragged, drag, drag, drag. It was hard to get through. I don't know if it was the writing, like they left up this big mystery of actually why him and his family are on the run and you really don't find out. They give like little clues, but like fake clues leaves this huge mystery and you kind of get tired of it after a while. American family on the run. You know, they, they don't mess with the electronics or anything like that. They're kind of on the run from the government. So they head down to Mexico. And then they get involved with all these Mexican drug cartel people. And it just gets crazy from after that. And you're just like, where is this going? Tell you, it really goes nowhere. You know, you want to see this family escape, but you don't know what they're escaping from. And then, you know, they're, they're from one minute they're escaping the, the American government, the next minute they're they're fighting the, mar the, the drug cartels and then the American government's there to help them. And then you're like, what is going on? And still by the end, I'm still confused. The story just drags. Like, this could have been a movie. I think it was a movie. They made a movie of this. Why they want to turn this to into a, this boring series that takes you, you know, it's like six or seven episodes an hour each to get through to, to basically, basically about nothing. As you could tell, I really didn't like it. I didn't like it. But if you're still planning on watching it, maybe watching with your kids, let's do the little parents review, okay? okay. It has language. It has some like, strong language and, lang and strong profanity language throughout. It has the F word, the S word, the A-hole word, the damn word, the guy the G damn word. Like it's got some vulgar language in there. Not any nudity that I could think of or, or any sexual situations at all that I can think of, but it has a lot of heart crashes and, and people getting injured. But then they, when they get down to Mexico, they're kind of on the run from these drug cartels. So you're gonna get plenty of violence, bloody people, guns, gunshots, shooting up people, deaths, like tons of. See, it's not recommended for kids. I mean, even if it was, kids aren't gonna enjoy this. As an adult, I didn't enjoy this. So I don't think kids are going to enjoy this one. It's a shame because the book, it was a popular book. They did a movie about it. I, I've never read the book or seen the movie, but I've heard, you know, good things about the movie. So much that they, you know, redoing it into a series. So it must be a good story, but they just didn't deliver one. I was disappointed. Like I said, it took me a while to get through. It dragged for me. I had to force myself to sit down and finish it. And then I wasn't even happy about it. I wasn't. I was mad that I wasted that time. So if you ever read the book, watched the first movie, let me know what you think. I'm curious. And if you're watching this after you watch some of the series, definitely let me let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Till next time, y'all.